Yesterday I spoke with Sam Bam again. Yes, we have been messaging back and forth, back and forth. Yesterday we did a little shout out to him because we've been uh, just kind of communicating a lot. And he was asking me a very good question actually. So he asked me if it is important for the tape to be flat on the screen when you tape off uh, your screen, you know, for the ink not to work its way through the areas that are not coated. And so the real question was, does it matter if it's wrinkled or if it's um, all the way flat? And what I told them is at the place where I learned how to screen print, they were teaching me how to do things and I thought that sometimes they could be done a better way. It's not that it was the wrong way. And I always like to just go the extra mile with everything. So as I was trying to get better and better, I was getting better at making it as flat as possible. And now when I do it, and I make it look very easy, but it took me a while to get to this point. And I'm gonna show you guys today just uh, maybe one or two different ways that you can achieve this. And I'm gonna take two screens, which I'm setting up to, for a drop today. And hopefully you guys can uh, kind of use the tips to, uh, to start practicing for yourselves. I know that you can always have like uh, difficulty, they're biting it off or you rather um, use the scissors or use the tape gun, you know, whatever it is that you would like to do to cut the tape off, that's uh, really up to you. But it's super easy for me to cut it off with my teeth and then lay it on the screen and then just lay it down nice and flat. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tape the first two screens, set up the job, and then um, I have to fly out of here. So I'm in here to teach you guys just how to do this very quick and simple. To me, it does matter that it's nice and flat. At the end of the day, what matters is that the quality of your print looks the best as possible. So if your client is happy with the print, I'm sure it doesn't matter how the tape is laid out. Um, once again, I've said this time and time again, I don't do this to tell you guys how to do your job. It's just um, so that you guys can learn different ways of how to do it. Uh, I'm sure that you guys watch more than one YouTube screen printing channel that teaches how to do everything differently. But this is how I do it and it works for me. And if you like how it looks and you want to practice it, by all means, please go ahead and do it. My friend Jeremiah has been working here for like the past four or five months and he still doesn't care. And it doesn't matter because the prints at the end of the day, they look the best. But when I do it, it makes my life easier when I reclaim. It makes my life easy when I'm taping off the screen. You know, when I'm running the squeegee, I don't leave ink behind. It just makes it look nicer. It looks very neat. And to me, it just is the best way that it can be done. But it doesn't matter how you do it as long as the print looks great. So the first thing that I like to do myself is mount the strings on the press. Just slightly lock them in. They're not registered or anything. Then I like to bring it down so that the side of the palette just kind of holds the screen. And then we go ahead and start taping. So I like to bite it off with my teeth. And I always kind of just measure how much tape I'm gonna use so I never go over like the inside part of the frame. And what I do is I hold, I hold it like this, right down the middle, like this. And then I bring my pointer finger and my thumbs right behind it, pointer finger in front of it. And I just use those two to fold it. And I keep the front half on the front of the frame and the other half on the side. All right, so here's a closer look on the other side and you can see where the emulsion um, draws the line to where there's no emulsion and where there is emulsion so again I measure what I need bite off with my teeth and then I, I always grab with the middle finger the sticky side and then the pointer finger goes on front where it's not sticky and then my thumbs go right behind it where it's sticky and then I use these two to fold so I always drag towards where I need to fold it from. And then we know where the emulsion sits. So from there, I'm just gonna start folding. And then I want that corner to be in as far as possible. So that's gonna keep the ink from going to the other side. All right. Now we're gonna take the bottom side and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so here's the difference between the side and uh, the back bottom side, whatever you wanna call it. So what I do here, is I lay, I lay my first one down, and this one is actually gonna go over. 
And um, to lay it flat, I like to use my nails because especially when it's hot and uh, you have a, a sticky weather or a humid weather where your hands get sticky and sweaty, you know, your hands get stuck to the tape. So if you use your nails, you just kind of like drag it down and it'll flatten it. So if you go over, you're gonna be able to get the walls. And even if you go past the walls, you can always tape it to the top part of it. So when you're done, you can just grab it and everything's gonna peel off. Now the back side, you don't wanna go too far out because we're gonna fold this one. So again, we're just gonna drag it back, fold it, and then stick it to the back part. Now a lot of people have uh, water-based ink or they have uh, really runny inks where it likes to just sit on the back of the screen when you lift it. And once you create that fold, it's gonna let that ink sit right there and not get your frame dirty. So I hope that these tips are helpful. Uh, it's very difficult to get to this point where your tape is nice and flat all the way around. It took me a long time to figure it out. Uh, I'm also gonna tape this just so you guys know. And this only has like the one fold up here. And I don't like to put it too far um, down because I normally stop my squeegee print once I pass the image. And if I go past any further, I'm gonna catch some of the tape. The ink is gonna start working its way underneath the tape and I really don't like that. So that's gonna be that. Um, so I hope that this was helpful. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you tape. Uh, a lot of people like to tape the back side of the screen and not the side where you print from. But what happens then is some of the ink starts working its way um, through the screen and it starts pushing that tape and it starts building up, building up, and then working its way out of the tape and you start having issues. And I just don't like having those kind of problems. It's also very dirty when you're reclaiming and I like to reclaim as fast as I can, as clean as I can. And this is the fastest way that I've ever done it. So if you guys wanna adopt the idea, um, there's some tips for you to follow. All right, so there you guys have it. It's a wrap. I'm gonna finish setting up the job and then give you guys like a little shot of how it looks. Uh, it's kind of like a cool design, so I wanna show it to you guys. But the purpose of the video was just to kind of show you how I lay the tape. And this is just for like basically a one color design. I do have different techniques for different setups, like when I'm doing size tags, when I'm doing left chest and back, and um, I have them on the same frame. I have a way to tape the screen so that it makes my life super simple uh, and super clean for the screen and for the reclaiming area. But that is gonna be another video further down the line. Or uh, the next time I encounter it, I can just kind of show you guys how I did it so that you guys can kind of like, just get the idea in your head and then start practicing it once you guys come across that situation so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys again on the next one thank you for stopping by mr oh, wait, forgotten wait, world um you were late i shot the vlog already but thanks for coming to the shop i like when you visit every once in a blue moon am i supposed to look at your eyes like oh, look at the lens. Just, oh the lens okay just give them a plug bro tell them where to follow you for the uh, brand. Forgottenworld.phoenix. He there wants you go. some dope shit. We're gonna leave a link below for his gram. He wants some clout. <laughs> he wants to feel his followers. He's so concerned. <laughs> Hi YouTube. How, How are you? I'm gonna thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.